G'day, welcome to Bootlosophy. My name is Tech, and I acknowledge the traditional custodians of the lands that I live and work on, uh, the Wajak people of the greater Noongar nation. Now, I'm really excited because I've just been to the post office and I've picked up this box, which says, uh, trust the original, which means it's from whites. So as I say, I'm really excited because uh, I came back from vacation and this was waiting for me at the post office and I just went to pick it up uh, this morning. Uh, it's a box from Whites. Let's get into it. Let's open her up. Which I imagine is through here. And in there, in the shipping box, is the whites box. So let's get her out. So, whites box, authentic whites, handmade boots, Spokane, Washington. This is really exciting for me. We'll open her up now. This is whites. Uh, Fulton boot, which I haven't seen many reviews of on the internet, but uh, it's a very interesting design. As you can see, it's a mock toe, and my understanding is this is a true mock toe with two pieces of leather sewn together in the mock toe version. Uh, it's an eight-inch boot uh, from the uh, from the heel, uh, a padded collar for comfort brass eyelets and brass bead hooks and an eyelet at the top so four four and an eyelet at the top uh, this is their goodyear welted version which is uh, a, a cheaper version because it's faster to make and uh, the goodyear welted uh, boots from whites are around the mid 300s uh, postage to australia included they're in the high 300s this is in their brown distress leather which i don't know too much about and i don't know which tannery it comes from uh, but I'll obviously research that when I do a bit more of a deep dive into these boots. Uh, the feel of it in their brown distress is, I think, a new buck here, waxed or oiled new buck kind of feel to it. Uh, the tongue is almost fully gusseted, almost right to the top. And you can see that the leather has a bit of pull up in it. As you can see, as I sort of put pressure on it from the other side. Uh, this has a uh, Vibram midsole, so I understand that's rubber. It has a Vibram uh, Honey Lug Commando sole, so it should be quite comfortable. Uh, and from what I can see from this boot, you know, it's really well made. Triple stitching, uh, two rows of double stitching, well stitched along the eyelets, smells beautiful. There's a little recessed pull loop, which is quite good because then it shouldn't be catching on your uh, pants. Reasonably thick and wide tongue. This is uh, made in Spokane, Washington at the uh, uh, headquarters of Whites. And as I say, I haven't really heard um, or seen too many reviews of these boots. This is the other pair. They've been a little bit crushed in the in the uh, packing but again I don't see any any sort of weird things in their stitching a uh, little bit of sawdust falling out whatever that was interesting and they come with these Tazlon laces um, which I, I don't mind. I quite like these Tazlon laces. Uh, I might switch them over for leather at some stage, but we'll see. So, uh, let's get them on feet and we'll take a look. So, let's get this pair of white uh, Fulton boots on feet with their <laughs> seemingly crazy long laces. They're Tazlon laces. Uh, 
As I say, I haven't seen too many reviews of these boots on the internet or on YouTube. Uh, but I really like the look of them because of their mock toe effect as well as their um, distressed brown leather. Um, I think as a pair of work boots they're really interesting, particularly with the Vibra Mini Lug sole. Um, the fit is really good. These are size 8, my usual half down from Brannock um, type sizing. They are uh, 8 inch boots, full grain uh, distressed brown leather, which I think is a kind of oiled new buck, and white says that uh, it's water resistant leather. The um, brass hardware is pretty shiny, <laughs> but I think will probably wear really well. The Tazlon laces are crazy long, but that's fine. Um, they wrap around. <laughs> they are good your welt construction, which means they're uh, machine sewn, uh, not, not hand sewn. They don't have the famous welt, rolled welt, although they do have a, a storm welt uh, lip. There's a Vibram rubber full slip midsole and a Vibram honey lug sole. So they look pretty good to me. There's also a composite shank in these rather than a leather shank. So all in all, that's why they um, sell for the 350 odd dollars rather than uh, you know the 500s and above. It's on the 1972 arch ease last, which means it's not as um, high in the arch and makes for a little bit easier break in and I can feel the Comfort Ortholite uh, footbed which means that they actually feel really soft underfoot particularly with the mini lug that um, was particularly with the honey lug sole as well uh, which is a softer rubber composition so there you go 8 inches with a Comfort um, padded collar. I think that's uh, that's very comfortable. The fit at 8D is perfect for my feet. Right, let's wrap this up. So, um, that's my first impressions and the unboxing of the White's Fulton uh, work boot. I hope you like the uh, first impressions and the unboxing and of course as usual I'll wear them for a few weeks and I'll bring you a more in-depth review uh, when I look at the whole boot and uh, a full review of the construction and how they wear and then I'll do my usual thing and bring them back to you in about a year's time and see how well uh, they perform. Uh, in the meantime I'm sure you know what to do. If you like this video and I hope you did please click on the like button if you haven't subscribed, and I need to ask you why you haven't, uh, click on the subscribe button. I'm going to bring you a lot more boot reviews and boot comparisons, so you, I'm sure you don't want to miss those. So until the next time, take care, and I'll see you soon.